Hello, this is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be talking about the cooling system. Ever have your car overheat, um, or you just did a change like water pump, thermostat, or any cooling system, a component, hose, whatever. Um, bleeding the vehicle is really important, and if you do not bleed the vehicle, you might have some overheating issues. Uh, but if it keeps on overheating after the bleeding issues, you probably have a bad head gasket or faulting component. But right here, I'm going to teach y'all how to bleed a car, and uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I have a tool right here that makes it a lot easier, and I'm going to give you steps on how to do this. So here we go. So first of all, we got to have our coolant. What I do, rather than buying the 50-50 mix, and normally save a dollar or two, I just buy the full concentrated and basically that gives me two uh, two gallons of 50-50 so I just get the full concentrated find another can uh, put 50% of that concentrated at 50% uh, water now we have two gallons of 50-50 little trick um, and then the next thing that we have I bought this tool part number 24680 Lyle the spill free funnel it's a nice tool I would highly recommend if you if you own a shop, please get you that. It's gonna help you a lot. And uh, we have our vehicle here. So essentially, what we're gonna do, I actually jacked up the front end of the vehicle. And there you go, jacked it up. So it has it kind of has an inclination right there. <clears throat> and that's basically gonna set the radiator at the highest point right here. And what air does, it you know travels up. So this is gonna be our. Uh, little cheat sheet right there um, and after that what we're trying to accomplish right here is get all the air bubbles out of the cooling system so I'm just going to show you real quick um, what's going to happen I hooked up the Lyle tool right here added some coolant and what we're going to do is just crank the vehicle on and see all the bubbles come out so here it goes let me just jack it up a little bit more And today is a beautiful day here. Here we go. So I'm going to show you the bubbles. So we're going to let the engine heat up. And hopefully we see air bubbles coming out. Take a little while. There we go. So why remove the air bubbles? All right, so you remove the air bubbles because inside your engine you have a thermostat right there. And if you ever get air bubbles behind the thermostat, uh, you know, water and air, they have different temperatures. So if there's an air bubble right there where the thermostat is trying to read the water temperature, you're not going to get an exact reading, and that's where you get your engine to overheat because the thermostat doesn't open. <coughs> so... Uh, basically, in a <laughs> nutshell, just bleed your engine. Some engines are a lot easier. I know some Chevys, like 3.4, 3.1, they have a little bleeder screw. You just unscrew that one, let all the air out. Um, if not, that tool right there, like I said, the Lyle tool, is a great tool to have. I bought mine in uh, Advanced Auto Parts. Back then was CarQuest, and it was just 40 bucks best investment you can ever get all right so if you do like this video please thumbs up subscribe share and um, and if you have any thumbs down
please let me know why you know you can write comments right there tell me why you uh why you didn't like this video you know I'm, I'm here to help out i'm here to make out these make these videos uh i might not be as professional as possible but i'm a mechanic so i'm just uh just trying to do this to uh, to help out others because uh, when i started off i actually had was watching scotty kilmer scanner danner you know those kind of people uh brian's uh brian's mobile you know, good good people out there man so i'm just trying to try and give back and um if this if this helps out one person that's all i need man well y'all have a nice day take care bye